Fox 56 News, first at 10. An ongoing cleanup effort by the community in Columbia County. Good evening, I'm Ann Larie. Aaron has the night off. Tons of trash continues to be pulled out of Fish Creek next to Bloomsburg and Fernville. Fox 56's Taylor Wharton joins us live with how this isn't just an eyesore, but an issue for the environment. Taylor. Just before I met with Tanya and Jared, who were part of the Bloomsburg Community Creek Cleanup, they pulled more trash and a tire out of the fishing creek, and they tell me it has been a common occurrence for them. From tires, construction bags, mattresses, TVs, and even a shopping cart, Tanya Nabrowski and Jared Mensch have seen it all. They leach so many chemicals into the water, and for them to be in the waterways is just like a huge hazard for our health, the animals' health. It all started when Nabrowski made a Facebook post about the creek needing a cleanup, and Mensch jumped in to help since he's on the creek most of his time. I got some great support right away, and we were just like ready to do it. So we organized like a little Facebook group. We got a bunch of people to come out. It was very successful. We cleaned up probably like close to two tons of car garbage the first time we cleaned up. And then probably and every cleanup after that, we've had three cents. It's been just as successful. There is still a lot more to do, Nebraska tells me. And this will be an ongoing effort to keep trash out of the creek. If you were to park at the Fernville Family Park, you would see there are no signs to advertise people not to litter. This is something both Nebraska and Mensch are hoping to change. I reached out to Hemlock Township. I actually went to their meeting Tuesday morning and um, I spoke and I looked at, I, I asked them if we could get signs that litter signs, litter fine signs, and they said that they were going to help me get some signs, some litter signs along the road. I'm waiting for their call. In the past month, Mensch tells me they got two canoes to do not only land, but in the water as well. You know, just a simple sign can help deter somebody, letting them know that somebody's out there looking, they're watching. It's improved enough that Tanya decided from here we're going to start going down through to into Rupert. A lot of the litters from people in the community, um, there was a big flood here in 011, so a lot of that is trash that's been here since 011 that no one's just decided to go clean up. The next cleanup is June 30th. For ways to get involved in that cleanup, we will have their contact on our website. Reporting live in the News Center, I'm Taylor Wartenby with Fox 56 News, first at 10.